Morning guys, Real 111T. Um, basically when I was getting ready for this season, uh, camping out, uh, I realized that I had a bunch of these Coleman suitcases that I like to use when I was car camping or for parties or things like that, but I did not have uh, cook sets that matched. I had a ton of backpacking cook sets, um, you know, going up to about the size of maybe a two liter pot, which is good size if you, especially for ultra light backpacking, two liters is huge. But if you think about it, two liters in your kitchen is kind of small. If you think about the pots that you might have in your kitchen to cook with. So I did some looking around the internet and I found this cook set and it was fairly cheap. I think it was $25 when I bought it on Amazon. I just looked and it was a little bit less. Um, and this is a Texport 16 piece aluminum four person cook set. And you kind of see the different items in there. What I was really interested in was the big pot. It has a six quart pot. Um, so, and then it's got a bunch of like sundry things. Okay. Uh, and you know, for that amount of money, you know, I was also at the time I was pricing out that Alpine 4, which I've been actually using more than this, obviously. But uh, I've been going out a lot, just me and my daughter, and we, I wanted something bigger than a backpacking kit. Although I probably could have gotten by with a backpacking kit for just the two of us. Um, so I wanted something bigger, but maybe not necessarily this big. I, I, there's nothing when I go out car camping with my daughter that I would need a six quart pot for. But if I want to make a big stew or some chili for a large number of people, a six quart pot might be good. Plus you have all the sundry items, the plates, little dinky cups, stuff like that. So I got this. Uh, this is of course, as you would guess, let's see here, if you can see. Made in China, of course. And if we take a look in here, everything nests down. It's kind of dinky. They call this a coffee pot. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a spout here, real little. Um, it's almost like a little bush pot. Okay, which, I mean, could be used for that. You got your handle for your fry pan here. It just kind of latches on there like that. Two-quart pot that actually came kind of a little bit, as you can see here, came a little bit dinged up, which is something I was reading in the reviews is that for some reason, even though it's brand new, I think I think maybe this thing dings it up a little bit. A couple of these salt and pepper shakers, there. and uh, a set of four of these little plastic plates, which I mean serviceable. And then you got your uh, your six quart pot here, which is what it is. It's an aluminum pot, so I mean you're not gonna be frying anything really in a in a pot that big. So aluminum is a good enough material, I think. But uh, a few weeks then after this, I was at a yard sale and I saw something else. So stick with me for a second, guys. So what we have here is something called the A-Line number 444 four-person aluminum cook kit. Now you can tell from the packaging of this that this is something that uh, is vintage. I'm not exactly sure when it was made, but I mean, look right there. We got rifles involved with camping. Not exactly, you know, something that you might have... <laughs> In today's packaging um, and uh, everyone was saying it looked like a Boy Scout cook set because these guys in the front I guess look like Boy Scouts because of their hats or whatever you know, it's interesting but what was really interesting when I was sitting there at the yard sale is I realized that this new set that I had is a clone of this one so let's take a look at this first of all what I noticed on this one if you take a look let me see if I can get that to focus there. It says Japan. Okay. So, 
not exactly China, but uh, possibly a little bit higher quality. Now this set was not complete, but you know, it's along the same lines. You got your handle for your pan, which works better than the other one does. Okay, and it's all metal. All right, you got your uncovered two quart pot again, and then there's this little, this lid, which is obviously for some kind of a coffee perk or coffee boiler like the other one has. In fact, it, it fits. This one, having been used, is in about the same condition as that one came new. All this aluminum is a little bit heavier duty than that stuff, maybe a little bit higher quality aluminum. And check this out, guys. This is the thing that really kind of uh, clinched it for me that this is a copy. Is these four little aluminum plates have this little triangle mark here, which is exactly the same as what those plastic ones had. So that's interesting. And like I said, the uh, the six quart pot is. I mean, it feels a little bit more rigid. Um, if you you might notice on here in terms of construction this one has a rolled lip on the top so and a nice steel bail so yeah I, I guess the philosophy of use for this kit um, really is going to be for situations where I need something bigger than uh, than the Alpine 4 um, uh, maybe cooking for a larger group of people. Um, basically what I did is I, I would probably use this set because it's higher quality than the other one. And I just pulled that little small boiler, which honestly, I don't, I, I've got percolators that I would use to perk coffee, um, uh, instead of making cowboy coffee. Um, and, uh, basically I would just use that smaller pot as a little boiler I probably I pull this out and then just put that whole other uh, little pot in here with this. Whether I would use those cups, I don't know. Um, I'd have to get a utensil set to go with this as well. But this would be a, a good sort of a bridge. Uh, the important thing is if you got one of those Coleman suitcases or something similar that runs on propane, you want to have a pot set that is commensurate to what you're trying to cook. Basically, the, the stove can handle a lot more uh, larger pots and rather having to make batches of small things in a little pot, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, there is a, uh, there's definitely a place for a smaller pot like this um, to cook with. It's basically when you're cooking, it's based on what you need, you know, and if you're trying to reproduce a recipe that you cook at home with a larger pot. I mean, you could just say, well, when you get ready to go car camping, just throw your stove in the car, then go to your kitchen, grab all your pots and pans, you know, off the shelf and throw them in the car all, you know, loose. And the good thing about a cook set like this is even though it's large, way too big for backpacking, it does kind of compact down a little bit. And if you're looking for a large kit to take, you know, car camping, canoe camping, something like that. Something that packs compactly um, all in one kind of unit is something that would be useful. So yeah, so I, I was tickled and uh, I don't know if I mentioned, you might have read it on the box, I paid three dollars for this. So I guess the moral of that story is before you look at Amazon, start looking at yard sales. Thanks for watching guys.